Hey, uh, Tim from Scott Country National. So tonight we're out uh, doing a bit of foxing. Uh, predominantly the main reason we'll be out tonight is given the uh, new merger duo, NXP50, a little run out. Uh, he's been sent over to us um, the other day, well, sent, arrived with me today. Um, now, the good, nice thing about these is you've got, still with your thermal sensor on the side here, you've got a 640 by 480 sub 25 net D uh, sensor. And that's giving you, they've done a bit of re rejigging within these. Now you've got a times three mag up to times 24, which is uh, really nice and it, it works. And then on your night vision side, or your optical channel, should I say, you've got a, a 1920 by 1200 uh, sensor in there. We can have an additional uh, IR on the bottom of that. Now that's just operated Simply that just goes into the uh, your charging port on the bottom there and that's got a, a 940 IR on that and that's just operated by that so once you see it plugged in you'll see it on the bottom of the screen and it's plugged in and it's working and then obviously you can have picture in picture in thermal and optical channel or you can have optical channel picture in picture with thermal so really excited about getting these a, a bit of a run out tonight so like I said Main focus, obviously out foxing. Uh, I've got the uh, 243 behind me with the Alpex on, so that's giving me the laser range finder capability should I need it. Obviously you, you sacrifice that as opposed to the other, mer other mergers with the LRF on, but you get the optical channel in these. So I'm gonna give these a run out and see how we get on. So get some footage and we'll give you a little teaser. So the, I will be doing a full review of these. Um, later on but it's going to be a bit of a bit of a teaser video just to see see him in action stay tuned cheers right so just back to the truck there and initial thoughts uh so no foxes seen on that session so i'm quite on top of it on this ground but first impressions with the uh merger duo nxp 50s i was a bit skeptical at first but they're uh i really like them they're not they're nice the, the thermal uh, channel times three base mag which is a nice little improvement up to 24 digital zoom on that and that's usable as well so i don't know what they've done in there still the 640 xp sensor that everyone's used to from previous mergers and the telos and everything like that but we've just they've upped it a little bit and done some changes in there and that's uh that's really nice i, I really like that and again on to the uh, optical channel as I said, they're 1920 by 1200 uh, optical channel in black and white. And what the beauty of that is with the additional IR that sits just on the bottom there, you can see it. You do get some movement within that, so you can focus it and try and point it out a little bit. Um, as soon as you put that into the duo mode with the old switcheroo button, it comes on. You can adjust that through the uh, minus button. You can activate that. A press and hold that will turn the IR on or you've got free brightness settings there by pressing that that'll up it up to one two or three um yeah but even as you'll see from some of the footage here with no IR on now I'm, I'm up in Northumberland this is an area classed as dark skies so it is absolutely pitch black there's no moon there's nothing a bit of ambient light from the neighboring farms um and that's enough that's enough to give the sensor enough what it needs to be able to see so really really impressed with that so um they've done it again you know um but even then putting the ir on i was looking down to the gate where some of the sheep were that was 275 yards down to the bottom there and then switching around to the right that's a good 600 odd yards at so no dramas with the capability of that 940 that's on there it can see or any brightness sort of setting uh it'd be probably nice to see a little bit of a focus on that one if you could adjust that because that sits that sits back a little bit there and you, you get a tiny little bit of flare when you when you're adjusting uh your focuses on either side there your, your hand sort of gets underneath that and it it flares a little bit but that's that's a minor thing again if you're using um, an IR on say you're using a night vision device like a C50 or an Alpex you could always use the torch or the IR illuminator off your scope to push the distance so I did that as well 
and I've seen seven, eight hundred yards, and it gives you a much cleaner image. Um, with that being such a small IR on there, like the close, um, close range stuff, it lights it up really nice, clear image up to time 16 on that. It is all usable zoom, all usable mag range, so absolutely bang on. Um, they're an heavy beast. They're a lot heavier than me XLs, um, so I can feel it in my shoulders at the moment. But the um, everything else, absolutely amazing. So it's just an initial, initial thoughts video, and then uh, I'll get on for a full review and get everything sorted out and give you my thoughts. Cheers. These are available on our website. So if you head over to Scott Country International, um, type in Pulsar Merger Duo, that these will pop up. Get yourself a set ordered and get yourself out either nature observing or hunting. Cheers.